Okay. Uh, first of all, it's helpful to remember that Father Ollier, uh, the time of Father Ollier, was some decades after the Council of Trent. And in a sense, the church had already called for uh, a reform, not a reformation as such, but a reform in the church, especially as regards the formation of priests. Uh, one of the complaints was that the clergy were not formed, that they were not educated, that they didn't read, that they didn't preach the gospel, that they didn't even know the gospel well, they didn't know the scriptures well, uh, they didn't know the faith well, couldn't articulate it. Well, Ollier and other reformers really wanted to address that issue. If you could get the priests to really be on board with what the church's expectations were with regard to uh, well-rounded formation, education as well, then the people would come along. Then the whole church could be reformed. But you had to reform the shepherds in order to bring along the sheep in a sense. I think TC really uh, incarnated that vision at that time when it was founded, 1917, and has continued that. Of course, it's evolved. It's evolved, but it's still at heart very Sulpician in orientation. So it's got that apostolic spirit that imbued Father Ollier. It's got that desire for evangelization, the desire really to form good and holy priests who uh, would be good pastors for their sheep.